रिमोट सेंटर वन जीरो सेवन फाइव डी वाई पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कोल्हापुर प्लीज गो अहेड वॉट इज एन एस्केलेशन अटैक एंड विच टाइप ऑफ एस्केलेशन अटैक कैन टेक प्लेस इन एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट इट सो इन सच देर आर नो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एस्केलेशन अटैक्स सो वन ऑफ द थिंग दैट आई एक्सप्लेन इन माई पीपीटी वॉज प्रिवेज एस्केलेशन अटैक सो आई एल एक्सप्लेन इट वंस अगेन सो से यू हैव टू एप्लीकेशन वन एप्लीकेशन इज हैविंग इंटरनेट एप्लीके परमिशन एंड अदर अनदर वन इज दैट डजेंट हैव इंटरनेट परमिशन सो से यू हैव अ सर्विस विच यू आर यू हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड दैट सर्विस बेसिकली टेक्स अ यू आर एल फ्रॉम एनी अदर एक्टिविटी एंड जस्ट डाउनलोड्स दैट फाइल नाउ द अटैकर नोज अबाउट दिस सर्विस सो वॉट हिल डू इज हिल क्रिएट अनदर एप्लीकेशन विदाउट इंटरनेट परमिशन and it will just pass the url to your service so he knows about your class name so service class name and your application name so he'll just mention these two things and it will pass the url to that application to that application so basically what is happening is from attacker's point of view uh, he doesn't have a internet permission but your application is uh, downloading that file for him so basically this kind of pre, uh, escalation attack takes place if you don't secure your application properly remote center 1229 sardar patel institute of technology andheri maharashtra yes go ahead ma'am uh, my question is on data uh, database uh, is it compulsory to create a android underscore metadata table in a database android underscore metadata and what is it uh, about yeah so uh, when you want to uh, structure something you need database you know you cannot have a uh, data you cannot have data just like that you know lying somewhere you need to structure so uh, your application needs whatever you know it is uh, where you know metadata is always very important metadata tells you about the data so these are these are governed by the specifications that your applications you know right from the beginning what what data is important how it is to be stored what is to be manipulated and you know is like that so you need metadata uh, previously when uh, metadata people used to not write metadata much of the things was was in the logic you know there was no database before so then people used to write separate logic to understand that data with five, you know uh, what are called as uh, comma separated values and sort of is, is that answered thank you sir yeah thank you sir and uh, one more question uh, yes. if i am creating a database through a sqlite browser right uh, sqlite browser uh, that means i have to add the metadata table in that right i i said you need to add metadata because somebody should understand what that data is about it is not not very compulsory you can um, <laughs> i mean there is a database the concept of database is to have metadata you cannot just have a data lying in a file it, it will be a file it won't be a database at all <laughs> this general fundamental principle of database yes yeah i had regarding the policy enforcement right. today that can the linux has many softwares on policy enforcement like the style or else hardening os can that be implemented in android os i uh, see um, there are uh, uh, which policy enforcement you said uh, there are many hardening os concepts like best style or something else in linux can that be implemented on android in fact see listen i am uh, android is just uh, you know coming up i think lot of things are going to happen like that and all of those things which has happened even on windows linux and all you know you know all of these are actually coming here so i i don't see anywhere you know such things you cannot you may not be able to do you should be able to do it and if you want to go for a project like that you should right i mean you should take such models which are already available you know study them and you, you you can make it i mean and there's no reason why you cannot do it okay that was the question whether it can right. be implemented or not yeah. thank you you, you can, can. Yeah. 1247 school of management and science technical campus 
Hello sir, my question is regarding Android security and root access. Actually, there are some apps which require the root access of device. So, is there any method to root the Android or any Android device or Akash tablet? So basically, this is nothing but a hacking a device. Okay, so you won't find a standard answer for this. But yes, there are procedures, there are scripts which you can run in ADB shell and root your device. And but this is not actually advised because this can crash completely your device. So you know, routing any phone, any Android device is not advisable. And uh, in case of our Akash tablet, it has been already routed. That's why you can directly connect to the ADB shell and you have a root account in ADB shell. So it's already routed. Okay, so I, I, I'll answer it in a slightly different way. Uh, most of the time, you know, if you look it from a system administration point of view or if you are a hacker, then there are these tools available like routing a device, going inside, doing something, changing. If you, if you want to look it from a, a research point of view, like, you know, what is happening inside? the system there are lots of uh, you know work that has been going on in forensic analysis of your memory itse itself you know what is really happening it's such a small device you know can you can you do something with those so one way you know you are a hacker on uh, using the already built up already built tools using them and then doing something changing you know putting some new module inside and then ch you know changing the underlying functionality some other other approach is to uh, directly up, you know look in the memory look in the process space how it is being allocated and you know all these things even you can um, you know you can instrument the device instrument the device even at the hardware level so there are ample amount of possibilities where you can and you can also um, maybe look look up for a project like that yeah, i just want to root device for mapping the memory that's why i'm asking for routing android devices Oh, so then you should look one of the papers which was talking about forensic analysis of memory. I don't remember the name, but uh, they have done a lot of work. It's exactly routing it first and then, you know, looking at how the memory is actually being structured and how it, it is actually, what is, what is where, you know, how it is being utilizing and how much, you know, is it really functioning properly? The memory manager is, is, is it really doing it? You know, you, you know, people have tried to ask questions to themselves and then, um, if you want, you can look at it. There is a website. We have a website wherein you can. I'll I'll put put up that uh, link on Moodle. Uh, you can look at the work that people have done, and and some of one of the papers is actually listed there. One two six four, Shulini University, Himachal Pradesh. So uh, one of our question is, why this trail is putting so long? We have three parts. Ramp one is transfer and another is trail. Why this trail is so long? What are the different factors? What are the different factors that are affecting trail? It is so long. Factors which uh, which rip, I mean which affect what? Tail, tail. Optimization in network application. One diagram was there. Right, so right, that is right. Ramp. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, you should ask the electrical engineers why they did that. <laughs> in fact, that is a characteristics of a device. You know, you have it, you, it jumps, ramps up like that, you know, it keeps r remaining like that in the on stage. And then why that tail remains like that is the characteristics of a device. And, uh, am I right? You want to answer? I'll add it, uh, something that, uh, because tail is the, uh, pre decided amount of time, it will be remain on for pre decided amount of time. And what happens in that tail time is if in the new, near future there is another transmission, then again, if after transmission transfer energy, you switch the device back from high power state to low power state, and in the near future, like in one second or, or one millisecond, you have another transmission, then again you have to uh, con uh, transfer the device from low power state to high power state. So that will again consume the ramp energy, etc. So for uh, avoiding all those state transformations again and again, we are the tail energy is uh, kept. So that if in the near future it is there, then the state promotions will be minimized. 1275, BH Gardi College of Engineering, Rajkot. Yes, uh, actually, my question is regarding the uh, yesterday's session. Uh, can we use third party tool uh, like Flash and all that animation directly into Android? So yesterday's session was on the Blender animation and yes, Blender animation is supported on Akash tablet. 
uh, Nitin had demonstrated you that Blender files can be converted to AVI MP4 and it will be normally rendered as a video file on a Akash tablet. So yes, answer to your question is yes, animation tools are supported on Akash tablet, but uh, exactly which tool you uh, want to run that depends, I mean. Okay, are you asking about any particular tool, sir? Yes, uh, I am asking about uh, flash. Flash file. Flash files are not supported on tablet, this is sure. And any other tools, if you want to explore, you can just uh, check out. Blender is supported, Blender animation is supported. 1210, Gokta Institute. So I was, I had a question on HTML5. What kind of uh, apps can I develop on uh, using HTML5 for Android? So you have already seen lot of examples what kind of apps can be developed. It was using HTML5 and CSS and you know lot of uh, app if you have seen the example there was animation uh, happening on the HTML page. There was video which was getting played on the HTML page. So you know HTML5 is a very powerful tool unlike a plain HTML. You can yeah, you can have a, even complete games developed on using HTML5. It's a very vast topic and you can definitely explore on your own. This is what, I mean, we just wanted to demonstrate. It is very powerful tool and you can just explore on it because there are a lot of things which are possible using HTML5 which was not there using plain HTML. Thank you, sir.